Today, once more, they will replenish themselves, cheat death again, through the power of their source. Matt Stone, 180DegreeHealth.com. Hey, it's Matt Stone from 180 Degree Health, having a little bit of a geek out tonight that was prompted by this colorful comment on the blog. Hey, dipshits, exercise raises metabolism. Good luck getting healthy on junk food. Now, there's a lot of myths about metabolism, a ton of myths about metabolism. And, you know, since I'm having this little geek out, I wanted to let you guys know and sort of clarify some of those myths because there's so many different misconceptions about it. And it's a really simple, basic, fundamental thing that very few people, even the the scientific community, really doesn't get this. So it's a, something worthy of topic, you know, worthy topic of conversation. I think we should delve into it a little bit. First of all, exercise in and of itself doesn't necessarily raise metabolism. Now, what people do when they exercise, they burn more calories because you are using your body and you're actually using fuel and burning up fuel when you do physical activity. But this, this adds to what is referred to as total energy expenditure. So just driving, going out and driving your car and burning up a bunch of gas doesn't, doesn't change the fuel economy. It doesn't impact the resting metabolic rate of the actual you know, vehicle itself. And they've done some studies as well. And most studies find with endurance exercise or any kind of exercise which doesn't add any lean body mass, that it either keeps resting metabolic rate the same or it actually lowers it. In my personal experience with endurance exercise and actually doing a very large quantity of it, much larger of a quantity than you know anybody could ever study because I was out working as a wilderness ranger and hiking and did a lot of cycling and things, I can absolutely definitively state 100% as fact that doing an excess of endurance activity probably any exercise in excess will cause your resting metabolic rate to decline. It certainly will make your body temperature decrease, your heart rate decrease, your blood pressure decrease, and other signs and symptoms that uh, make it very obvious that your actual resting metabolic rate has declined. A deeper look reveals that the only type of exercise that raises resting metabolic rate is exercise that increases your lean body mass so you're actually if you increase your muscle mass your body becomes larger that new muscle tissue that lean mass needs more fuel and thus you need to eat more calories and you are burning more calories because of that added size just like an elephant needs to eat a lot more food than a mouse because they're much bigger so exercises that make you bigger make you burn more calories and they increase your resting metabolic rate and thus is born the infatuation with exercise and resistance exercise and weight training and things like that for raising metabolic rate. But there's a problem with this. And the problem is, is that there is no adjustment made for the increase in size. So all that really matters is how well your cells produce energy. That is my definition of metabolism. That's the only definition of metabolism that has any real relevancy and it is a basic fundamental law of the animal kingdom that the larger your body becomes and the greater the lean body mass you have the lower the metabolic intensity so if you actually take the amount of calories you burn and you divide it by the pounds or grams of lean body mass that you have the greater your body size, the lower the metabolism. Does a gerbil have a lower metabolism than an elephant? No, of course not. A gerbil has a metabolism that's maybe hundreds of times greater than that of an elephant. So we're not talking, you can't just get bigger and expect your metabolism at the cellular level to get stronger. In fact, in all of nature, usually the cellular intensity of the metabolism gets lower as body size increases. So, is gaining muscle mass, is that good or bad? Well, it comes down to the individual and you can certainly increase your resting metabolic rate and lower your true metabolism, or what you could call your mass specific metabolism can be lowered even though you are gaining muscle mass. So you don't really know. And the best way to determine your, your true metabolism is something as simple as body temperature. So if you take your body temperature, if your body temperature falls, you can be pretty sure that per pound of lean body mass, your metabolic rate is decreased. 
Likewise, if your, if your body temperature has come up, you can be pretty sure that your metabolism has come up. So the body temperature is a much better indicator of overall metabolism. It's something that I really, really wish our scientific community would pay some attention to because they're focused on these other factors, but they're not adjusted properly to truly see whether resting metabolic rate, the true mass-specific metabolism, is increasing or decreasing in response to various stimulation. And we have no knowledge, really, about metabolism because no one has really made these adjustments. And we are really starting from scratch and really looking honestly and objectively at what causes metabolism to rise and decrease and go up and down at 180 degree health. That's what we do. And exercise, does it raise metabolism? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. It depends on all different kinds of factors and it always comes down to the individual. If you take an individual who is overly stressed, not sleeping well, maybe, and, and not necessarily just staying up too late, but literally has problems sleeping through the night and has some various forms of insomnia, they already have cold hands and feet, their body temperature is, re is reduced, you subject them to exercise, their resting metabolism, their resting metabolic rate per pound, their body temperature will actually decrease. So to say that exercise raises metabolism as a fundamental property of the universe is absolutely ridiculous. There is nothing that raises metabolism or decreases metabolism. It depends entirely upon the individual in which that is interacting with. And that's why this is all an open slate and an open exploration to actually determine what does make metabolism go up, what does make metabolism go down. But 180 degree health, we have a huge leg up because we're focused on body temperature and we're aware of these certain fundamental aspects of resting metabolic rate and metabolism. We're not looking at total calorie burn and we're not swept away by all the research that says, oh, if you lift weights and gain five pounds of muscle, your resting metabolic rate is going to be increased and you'll be burning more calories during your sleep. Well, that, none of that stuff matters. It's all irrelevant in the big picture of things. It all comes back to body temperature and other factors and other indicators of your metabolism, such as your breathing rate. You should be breathing <laughs> much more frequently when your metabolism is high. Just like a young kid, your hands and feet should be very warm. Your pulse rate should not be down in the 40s and 50s like an endurance athlete. It should be actually much higher. Your blood pressure should not be low. Mine has always been 104 over 62 and really low levels. It, I, my health has improved tremendously as my blood pressure has come up to normal. Normal is better than low. Just because high blood pressure is bad doesn't mean that low blood pressure is even better. Anyway, I'm getting way, way, way carried away with all this stuff. There's just a few basic concepts that I wanted you to grasp and focus in on so that you can manipulate through what other people are saying out there about metabolism and not buy into all the BS. And certainly not, you know leave comments like the one that was left on my website. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, I'm out. Catch me every Wednesday and Saturday for a new video. I'm out. Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health. Subscribe to the 180 Degree Health channel now or you will be abducted by lesbian Nazi hookers from outer space and forced into a weight loss program. It doesn't matter what you have for